Good afternoon, software engineers. Hope you're doing well at home or wherever it is that you're hanging out right now. As you can see, I'm here in my spare bedroom slash office, so you'll be able to join me here for a little bit over the next few weeks. So welcome to my home. Um, boy, things sure went sideways since I left, huh? Yeah, going to Portland was interesting. Uh, the conference, yeah, we got through one day, kind of, and then on Wednesday night, uh, we heard a rumor from the Oregon Convention Center, um, from some of the people that were working there saying, hey, did you hear that the governor is going to make an announcement? We're like, okay, this is kind of crazy. And we look it up, we find a news article that says, okay, the governor is going to ban large gatherings, but the governor's trying to decide between 1,000 people and 250 people. Now, at the time, we probably only had maybe six or 700 people that were going to be at the conference. That was down from almost 2,000, but we were going to be under 1,000. So we're just kind of sweating bullets that night. And so I text my contact at the Portland Travelers Bureau and say, hey, do you know anything? And he texts back and says, no, I haven't heard anything. It's the first that I've heard, but we have an all-hands meeting tomorrow morning at 9 a.m., I'll let you know whatever I hear. All right, sure, whatever. I'm still on East Coast time. So it's 9, 9.30, and I'm I'm done. It was a long day, so I went to bed. And I wake up at 3 a.m. Pacific because East Coast time, and that's when I normally get up. And so I wake up, and then my phone is going insane. Uh, all these text messages, all these other things going on. Ugh. So we cancel the conference right before the first keynote speaker goes on. I mean, we had breakfast even set out. So we went over and ate the breakfast. It was kind of sad, but we did. And then tore down the conference in half a day. And I changed my flights and I flew back Friday. So, you know, and while I'm there, I get the notification about us all going online. And whew, boy, howdy, has it been interesting. So I hope you're doing well. I hope you're not feeling too anxious or too stressed about anything. I mean, this is a super bummer on so many levels. Um... But it is what it is. And you know what? For 3240, we are going to be just fine. Um, my goal is to make sure to still assess you as best that I can and give you a, 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 you know, a fair shake as far as that goes. So don't stress about it. Um, you know, the best thing about being the teacher is I get to choose these things. So, um, you know, 3240 transfers better than many courses. So, you know, we'll be okay. And I'm going to try and post more videos uh, more regularly just to hang out, to talk about things, you know, maybe some just short videos. Maybe I'll stream some games. I don't know. Animal Crossing comes out Friday, so who knows what we're going to do. Um, you'll probably get to meet Sammy at some point. Um, I actually have to finish up this video pretty soon because she's informed me that I'm her specials teacher and I have to do Technology Tuesdays and we are going to learn how to do some basic programming today, so... You're not the only one I'm prepping lessons for. So let me show you what we've got going on. And then um, I'll have more to talk about in the days to come. So you can find everything right here at this URL. Go to cs3240.cs.virginia.edu slash online. And it's going to redirect you here to this page. that's on the course website. Now, admittedly, I just got back from Portland and I've been digging out of a lot. We've all been digging out of a lot. So I'm going to get this updated as soon as possible, but I wanted to give you something right now so you kind of knew what was going on. So first and foremost, the tool chain is going to expand just a hair, but I'm going to try not to add too much to it. First off, I'm going to do most all of my lectures on YouTube. And the reason for this is I have OBS set up, Open Broadcaster Software, for anyone who knows about streaming. This is a pretty popular package that's used for streaming on Twitch, and I like it, and I can do some cool things with it. So... I'm just going to record picture in picture type stuff here in OBS and post on YouTube and you can watch it whenever you want. As far as live question and answer stuff goes, I will host some live Q and a time and it might be that I go live. Um, heck, maybe even on Twitch. I don't know yet. I'm still trying to figure out which platform makes the most sense and you can ask questions in chat and then I'll talk about them online as opposed to having 250 people try and jump in and out of a zoom meeting or that sort of thing. I think maybe kind of a live Q&A probably work better for lecture than QA time. The other tool you're probably going to need, tools you'll probably need is Discord. Now, if you've never used Discord before, it's a gamer tool, but one of the reasons I like Discord is it's effectively Slack, but it has chat built in, like voice chat built in. So I'll get some material on that and get that to you as soon as possible. 
Thankfully, we're not really at a critical office hour point this week. Boy, am I glad I moved that that sprint check, huh? Whew, that would have been a mess. Anyway, um, we'll get that information to you. You should probably get Zoom installed as well. Uh, you'll If you don't need it for me, you'll need it for someone else probably. So, so far, Zoom's been working okay for me. I'm kind of worried about the overall load on it. We have been having morning kindergarten um, meetings. That's interesting, um, So, but fun. So, hey, there you go. How is this going to affect your XP? So, first thing you need to know, lab attendance. Uh, you're probably not coming to lab. Yeah. So, we're going to change it to, basically, Piazza participation. And I'll give you some more specifics about how the XP will be calculated from here on out. But... I'm going to expect people to be chipping in on Piazza to answer questions, ask questions, and move on from there. And also participation in beta testing. So if you remember before, you were going to have to have beta tests with other people. I'm, I'm still encouraging that, and you still have the ability to do that, but it's going to be harder to convince people now. So we're going to be beta testing each other's software, and that's going to be part of your lab attendance participation. For guided practice, we have three left. And I can modify them a little bit so you can do them at home. It's not a big deal. But if you wanted to do them over Slack or over Zoom with anyone, you're welcome to do so. But we'll do those last three guided practice from home. No big deal. Team roles. Uh, Scrum Master. I mean, your job doesn't really change. It just got a little harder. Um, but your report's going to be the same. Same thing for DevOps. Uh, your role is basically the same. It just got a little harder. And your report's still the same. Uh, requirements, you're done. <laughs> Congratulations. Architect, I don't think anything's going to change for software architect, except I'll probably change the due date of the architecture doc and knock it out a little bit. So be on the lookout for those calendar updates, but I'll let you know when those occur. Testing is the big change, and that is has to do with the beta testing stuff. How are we going to actually manage... I turned off the sound notification on email. Why did it do that? Uh, I t I, um, we're going to do beta testing a little bit different. It's going to be effectively the same, except it's just going to be more virtual as opposed to in-person. I'll tell you how that's going to work. Quizzes, big change, uh, all open note from here on out. Um, I don't think it's reasonable for me to, to you know, do all the honor, on your honor stuff as far as that goes. That's fine. The last few bits of material is pretty easy to do with open note. I'm going to ask that you still, you know, be on your honor about talking to people, but Open note, we can manage. That's not a big deal. So you'll do those on your own and you'll submit them to Gradescope. Sprint checks, you'll still submit a sprint report. You'll still make sure everything is up and running. We'll probably be doing meetings through Zoom uh, or Discord with the TAs to do your sprint checks. I'll probably pop into some of those. Um, I might drop one sprint check. I'm going to look at the numbers and see how that looks. I might drop one sprint check just because I don't know if we want to manage it every week. Maybe we want to do that every week. I don't know. I'll think about it, but sprint checks will be basically the same. And then the final project's the final project. Plenty of people do remote software development. I mean, this is why we have GitHub. So, you know, you're probably already doing stuff kind of separately anyway. So there you go. That's kind of how that's going to work. Um, if I scroll down here, office hours, we're probably going to do a little bit more Piazza. But in the long and short of it, what you need to know is I'm not going to do lectures at the exact time every day. I'm going to be posting these lectures on YouTube. You can watch them whenever you want to. So you, you know, uh, I, there'll be a link to the YouTube channel. There should be one in the email. I'll send this to you anyway. We're going to be using a few different tools in order to facilitate Q and A. Um, and then the rest of the information I'm going to make sure is here on this page. So I just wanted to drop you a quick little video. Make sure you knew that I was thinking of you. Um, we're going to be, we're going to get through this. We're going to get through all of it. Um, I'll give you a little slice into what it's like here at the sheriff household. Um, and yeah, brave new world. What can I say? So I hope you're doing well. Take care of yourself. Take care of those around you. And I'll be back to chat with you again very soon.